Hey, how's it going? This is Jamie back live for the second time today. I'm here now instead of a one hour chat, I'm here for a 10 to 15 minute round of Rolling Realms. Rolling Realms, if you're not familiar with it already, is our uh, infinitely scaling, remotely playable roll and write game. I uh, usually play three rounds of the game. I'm just going to play one here, combining the Euphoria, Pendulum, and Viticulture realms. And today I'm going to try something a little different. I'll see if it works out. But I'm going to teach the realms uh, pretty much as I play. I'll give you the, the brief overview here of Viticulture um, while people show up in case people want to play live. In Viticulture, you'll cross off a number. Oh, in Rolling Realms, I should mention that one player is going to roll two dice. And then all players will use one of those dice in one of their realms and the other die in one of their other three realms. And I just realized I left cat food on the floor and Biddy's gonna eat it if I don't pick it up. So let me do that first. He will eat all of that food if I don't pick that up. Um, so yeah, so uh, the, the core rule of the game is that you can't use the same realm twice in the same turn. So even if I have two dice that look really good for a certain realm, I can't use them both in that realm. I have to use them in different realms. You can also use resources to create a new die to use in the third realm um, every round or every turn, which can be pretty helpful. So in Euphoria, you're going to cross off a number and then look at the sum of the numbers in that area where you cross it off, and that'll determine the reward that you get. I'll give you an example as I play. Um, also, if you get doubles, if someone rolls doubles, that has to be sh doubles on the rolled dice, you can cross off both numbers by only using one of the dice, and but gaining the benefits of both of the numbers that you cross off. In Pendulum, you're going to be circling these numbers here uh, with any die. You can use any die to circle one of these, uh, not numbers, but one of these uh, rewards. And then whenever you complete one of these hourglasses by crossing off numbers here, you gain all rewards that you've circled. And those rewards stay circled for the rest of the round. So you're gaining more and more rewards the more you cross off and the more, uh, <laughs> the more hourglasses that you complete. Looks like George is joining us. He says that he just finished a three-player um, session last night, his first session. That's awesome. Um, and then Viticulture, we have this. So in Viticulture, similar to a Pendulum, early on in the round, you're going to be circling numbers and gaining the rewards directly be below them, unlike actually in Pendulum, where you don't get the rewards right, right away. And in Viticulture, whenever you spend at least one of these grapes that you've already circled um, by crossing it off, plus a, a die, and that sum adds up to 10 or higher, 11 or higher, or 12 or higher. You can cross off one of these wine orders to gain two stars. All right, let's jump in. I'm going to turn the camera down so you can see what's on my table here and see the dice that I roll, and then we'll start playing along. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions or comments or things that you want me to roll while I'm playing. I'm happy to try to roll what you want me to roll. So, roll number one. A two and a one. I was hoping for an early double there, but we didn't get it. A two and and a one. Um, I mean, low numbers are not great for really any of these realms, but uh, actually in Euphoria, it's not terrible. So I'll put, uh, I'll, I'll use a one for sure over here in Pendulum. I'll use the two there and I'll use a one here to gain a coin. Um, and I might as well use that coin. You can use coins to create uh, dice of, of that value, the number of coins that you spend. So I'm going to spend one coin uh, to circle this uh, um, this grape over in Viticulture and gain a coin from that. I see a comment here from Leifer saying that Rolling Realms still is not available in Iceland. Well, Leifer, the worldwide release date for Rolling Realms hasn't happened for anyone yet. It is on November 19th. However, uh, we unless we don't ship to Iceland, which I think we do, it is currently available in Iceland if you pre-order from, or if you order from our web store, and it would ship almost right away because we are actively shipping uh, pre-orders and orders of Rolling Realms bought on our web store. So it actually, I think it is available in Iceland, unless, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, shipping is not available from our web store to Iceland, but I'm pretty sure it is. Michael is popping in to say hi. Hey, Michael, thanks for dropping by. Roll number two. A one and a one. Ah, that is so bad because if i had not crossed off this one in euphoria i could use one of those one, or both of those ones essentially without spending both dice to cross off both ones with a single uh die so that was a an error on my part a pretty big error yeah that's too bad so i might as well cross off the other one over here get another coin and let's use another one over here in pendulum and I can't do anything in Viticulture. I guess I could cross off two coins and get, yeah, let's, well, might as well. 
It's great if you can use all three realms each turn. So I'll circle that and get, I don't have a star there yet, and get another coin. Chris says he's never beaten Jamie. Is today the day? Probably, Chris, with that early mistake that I made. I couldn't have known I was making the mistake, but it did happen. A four and a six. We have a four and a six. Not great for you. This is good. I was hoping for a great euphoria day, but it's not turning out to be that way. Let's put the six over here in Viticulture. High numbers are great in Viticulture to get a pumpkin. We'll put the four in Euphoria and hopefully that, hope that we don't immediately roll two fours. So a four in Euphoria. So here's an example here. I've crossed off a four. I look at all numbers that I've crossed off in this area. One plus four is five and five is in the four to 10 range. And so I gain a star. The whole point of Rolling Realms is to try to gain as many stars as possible. And then I will create a one value die to use over in Pendulum. All right, roll number uh, four, I think we're at. Another six and a four. Okay, well, that's fine for Euphoria. I've already done a four there, so I might as well use a four over here and get another star. And the six, the six is actually good for Viticulture as well. I'll use the six. Let's do this. Let's use the six in Pendulum. Because using the six and pendulum right away completes this hourglass, and right away I gain all of these rewards, and those rewards remain available for when I complete the other hourglasses. So this might accelerate me towards five stars, but basically by doing that I'm saying I cannot get six stars from the pendulum realm. But that's okay, because I'm getting one star, I'm getting a pumpkin, a heart, and two coins. And do I want to use those coins right away? No, I don't want to use those coins right away. George had said he had three doubles tonight at Euphoria. That's fun when you can roll three doubles. Uh, I have a one and a six. Whenever you have dice that add up or roll dice that add, to, add up to seven, you can spend two coins to copy one of those dice and use it in the third realm. Bruno says, do you have the Terra Mystica realm with you? Curious to know what the rules are for that promo realm. I do have it with me, but we have not officially revealed it yet. Um, we're going to officially reveal it, I think, pretty soon, but I won't be doing that today. Okay, a one and a six. Not great for Pendulum, but I might have to manipulate something to make that work for Pendulum. Also not great for Euphoria. This is rough. Pumpkins can't create dice, but they can manipulate dice. So I might have to use some pumpkins here to help out a little bit. That's kind of a rough roll. Let's use the six over in Viticulture. Uh, six plus six is 12, so I can complete this wine order. Doesn't have to be exactly the number, just uh, that much or, or higher. And then I have a one and I have some two co some coins I could spend. I'd, I'd like to use those coins. Yeah, we'll use two coins in Euphoria to create a two value die. One plus two plus five is eight. That's in the four to 10 range. So I'll get a star for that. And then let's use the one die that I haven't used yet and two pumpkins to uh, yeah, I think this is right. And two pumpkins to turn that one die into a two and cross off the two in this hourglass. But I haven't completed that hourglass, and so I don't get anything right away. Payoffs take a little time with Pendulum. All right, turn six. A five and a three. We have not seen either of those numbers yet. Still no doubles, but hold, holding out hope for some doubles there. I think I want the five over in Viticulture. Um... Five would be a pumpkin in Viticulture. The three, yeah, I don't know if that's really doing much in Euphoria. I, I need threes in Euphoria, but it's not great for there. So let's just put the five over in Viticulture and get a pumpkin and put the three in Pendulum. Three turns left with Pendulum. It's going to be tight here. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Can't create any extra dice right now, though. So moving on to turn seven. A five and a four. Five and a four. Fours aren't great in Euphoria. Fives I could use in Euphoria that could help. Five and four are good in Pendulum. Um, and both are good in Viticulture as well. What to do here? I feel like I need to complete something else in Pendulum. I also really need a coin. And I can't get coins from Viticulture or Euphoria at this point. But a five in Euphoria... 
Yeah, let's see. Let's put the the five in Euphoria right here. That'll get me up to this area where I'm getting a pumpkin and a heart. And we'll put the four in Pendulum right there. Oh, this is going to be really, really tight. But hopefully I can pull it off. The one way you can break the rule in Rolling Realms about using one realm more than or more than once in the same round is if you use three pumpkins. So let's see if we can make that happen. A two and a four. I don't know if that's what we needed. Kind of need a big number for Viticulture. But well, we got to score Viticulture this round. This could be good in Euphoria. I wish I could make a coin. A coin would be so helpful right now. Hmm. But also completing Pendulum might be really helpful. Oh, man. Okay. So four over in Viticulture. Four plus five plus two. We're kind of saying we're not going to get all the stars from Viticulture, which wouldn't be great. The two I can manipulate in Pendulum. I already know I'm not getting as many stars as I want from Pendulum. Uh, but So I might as well get some resources now from Pendulum. So I think what I'll do is use the two... Yeah. Use the two, manipulate it down to a one, and use it here in Pendulum. That gets me a star, and it gets me two coins, a pumpkin, and a heart. I now have the four to use, and I could create looks like Chris is looking for a three I'll try to roll a three here um, I could use those two coins to create a two in euphoria which would give me another star which would be nice uh, and then I could use the four over in viticulture I haven't done that yet to either get a heart or to complete something over there because I don't think I can do both in viticulture so the heart might be better Let's hope for like, a, I don't know, a big roll in the last round. Um, we'll put the two, the two coins we'll put in, uh, this is tough. I don't know, it's, it's, it's pretty tight right now. And I'm not getting quite what I hoped out of Pendulum this round. Let's just hope to get a five. We'll put a four over here in, in Viticulture. Let's just do four plus five plus uh, one is 10, so I'll get that's yeah, so I actually need to cross that off. Cross that off. I did not cross off earlier in Viticulture. That was a mistake. You got to cross the off all cross off these grapes whenever you use them. And do I want to use the coins in Euphoria? Sure. Let's use let's use the two coins to cross off the two here and get another star. Chris, this might be your round to beat me if you haven't done it yet. All right, final round, final turn, six and a one. So not the three. Really far away from the three that Chris was hoping for. And not the five, but I might be able to get a pumpkin and manipulate. Yeah, I don't even know if that's happening. I don't think we're getting anything we wanted here. Because I need two pumpkins to manipulate that five, and I don't have that. And the one does nothing in Euphoria. The one, Actually, maybe we can do this. Let's use the six in Euphoria. That gets us a pumpkin and a heart. Um, I can then use three pump, or three hearts to copy one of these numbers, the six, I will manip manipulate it down to a five to cross off this five. That gets me a star, two coins, leftover coins at the end of the round are 0.1 stars and another heart. And I haven't done anything in Viticulture yet. I don't think it really, although I haven't used the one and I, I have no easy place to use it in Viticulture. So I think I might be out of this round. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to end here. I'll pop the camera back up so you can see the final results of each of these realms. Not a great round for Jamie Stegmeyer. Euphoria, four stars. Pendulum. I was really going after Pendulum this round, and I, it made a big difference. I should, have, I should have gotten another star earlier so I could have six stars there, or maybe even just five. And then Viticulture, pretty weak there too. So I'll add up, I see some questions here. I'll get to those in a second. Let me add up real quick. I have 0.4 from over here and then 11, 11.4. Jim says, for those of us new to the game, how do we get the Terra Mystica promo realm? Uh, Jim, we'll have it on our web store. Uh, we fulfill 
from the US, the UK, Canada, and Australia, and we'll have it on our web store when it is available. If you wanna stay tuned to that, uh, join either the Rolling Realms Facebook group or join the Stonemaier Games e-newsletter, we'll, we'll announce it there. Uh, Taylor's popping in to say that he's loving the uh, Tapestry Design Diaries. Thank you, T Taylor, I appreciate that. I'm having fun releasing those Design Diaries. Chris got 15.6 out of this round, that's incredible. Chris, I, I don't know what you did there, but that is really, really well done. Um, I guess there were the high numbers available to pull off Viticulture if you use them well. I did not. Uh, but yeah, well done, Chris. Really, really great score there. I will go ahead and post this on YouTube where you all are welcome to post your final scores if you play along later. And it uh, looks like Bruno has one more question. With more realms in the future, will it make sense to play more than three round, rounds? I don't think so, Bruno. Um, I see what you're saying there. It is possible to do that. But... Uh, I'm finding personally that I'm really loving the little mini plays of it, almost as a filler, like just one round. Um, the core way is to play with three rounds that you can play. Once you know how to play, you can do that easily in 30 minutes. Um, and so I think the game might overstay its welcome if you push it past that. I think it might be better to then play just a mini game and play like one round or play two games of two rounds each, something like that. Um, but four rounds might be a, a little long. Alrighty, thank you all for, for playing along or just hanging out today, and uh, I'll pop over to YouTube and put this there. Take care. Bye.